Hi paper lovers, it's Sarah with Live, Love, and Scrap.blogspot.com. I wanted to share with you a card that I made um, from the Create a Critter cartridge, and I designed it in my Gypsy. And I just wanted to show you really quickly, I'm not going to do the whole thing because my camera can't pick up the Gypsy very well, and there are lots of great YouTube tutorials out there. But I did want to show you in case you didn't understand how to design a card in the Gypsy. The first thing you would do is grab a square or rectangle from any cartridge. See, one um, from any cartridge and make it the size of the card you want. So the size of the card I made was five by six and a half. So I just made a five by six and a half rectangle. And then what you want to do is you're going to go in and grab whatever image you want. And I use this little house here from Create a Critter. And then you're going to bring it over to your what would be your card size, and then you can just make it whatever size you want. and like so. So then you can just bring in whatever images you want from all your cartridges and put it right on your card base and adjust the size so you know if you want to make it smaller or bigger for everything to fit around it. So that's one of the, the uh, great things that I love about the Gypsy is that you know exactly what you have before you cut it so you know what size to cut it. So that's just a quick little thing, little tip. So here's the card I made. Can it turn out cute? Um, I've mentioned this before, but one of my favorite things to do with a card is make a scene. I love to do that. And with the Gypsy and with Design Studio, it makes it so easy because, like I said, you can see exactly what you're getting. So you know what size to cut it. You don't have to guess what sizes. So let's get to the card. All the paper and card stock, of course, is die cuts with a view, flower shower spring stack. And I used the Create a Critter cartridge for everything except for the fence. The fence came from Mickey and Friends. I love that little fence on there. So when I give you the sizes, they are going to be sizes that you can create in the Gypsy. With the Gypsy, you can do any size you want. With the, you know, the Cricut, you're limited to certain sizes. So if you were to try to recreate it, you'd have to get the sizes as close to Cricut proportion if you don't have a Gypsy. So let's just quickly go over this. Um, the two clouds were cut from... Um, I'm sorry, on page 28, one of them I popped up, the one that I stamped my little sentiment high. The smaller one is 1 inch and the larger one is 1.47 inches. My little branch here is on page 25 and it is cut at 1.12 inches. The little bird is on page 45 and it's at 1 inch and I popped him up on little pop dots. My adorable little house here is page 29 and it's 2.18 inches and I added a little button for the doorknob. I thought that was a cute little touch. The little tulips here that are in the window box are on page 69 and that's 1.24 inches. Uh, the grass here, I have a few different pieces of grass that I kind of layered on top of each other and then this is the longer piece of grass. Those can be found on page 45 and they are cut at 1 inch and I just layered them on top of each other. Like I said, the fence is from Mickey and Friends, and I cut it at 1.12 inches, and I popped it up. And I'm so proud of my little birdhouse. I think it turned out so cute, because in the book, it's just a little house by itself. And I cut that. It's on page 65, and I cut it at 0.65 of an inch. And then the stick is actually on page 28, and it's the stick that goes to the flag. So I just cut that out and stuck my birdhouse on top of it. And I thought it turned out so cute. The stick is uh, cut at... 2.06. So I think that's it. But, um, yeah, that's it. Came out super cute. I love it. And um, like I said, the Gypsy, and with the new updates, I love my Gypsy so much. It's so much more fun now. So I hope you guys like it, and thanks everybody for watching. Have a blessed day.